Greetings, Elder Blacklight here. Let me say this. How can you ignore? I said it in my in one of my videos most recently. How can you ignore something or someone that's killing people by by the tens of thousands on a daily basis and I mean you just going on like every trying to be normal under unnormal circumstances and you're easily distracted uh, by those celebrities and entertainers and sports figures actors you know, and even the politicians distract you uh, with their nonsense. And you go on, you try to go to work, taking a chance on going to work and taking a chance on uh, contracting a deadly virus. And they sending you mixed signals. They telling you that you don't need no mask. You need a mask. Uh, they almost got the vaccine ready. In the meantime, every time they tell you something about the coronavirus, they throw in some uh, campaign advertisement on what Biden is doing and what Trump is not doing. And I mean, I'm not going to vote for neither one of them. And the country is falling apart. They, and, and, in, and in between all of this, they lynching black people. They uh, rioting. Uh, using provocateurs to destabilize cities. And... You're like trapped. You can't leave the country now. Don't nobody want your disease self over there. They don't know if you if you got it or not. You know. And uh, some people tell you the, the vaccine is going to save you. But they want you to get tested. And they ain't even got a vaccine yet. And if you go there they might say you got the coronavirus how they gonna put you in the hospital and ain't no ain't no hospital space like they running out of supplies they're running out of equipment you know but yet still they making money off of all this the drug companies and pharmaceutical companies and the doctors and they're getting grants and you don't know if this a plan circumstances part of King Alfred uh, King Alfred plan of Rex 82 I mean what is it Rex 84 or something like that I'm sounding like Biden and, and Trump at times I, I got so many things I want to say and hurry up and get it out there for my time please plus I want to play <coughs> The Honorable Elijah Muhammad <clears throat> talking about why you preach separation, why we should crush the authority of the devils. <clears throat> but I wanted to throw my little two cent in there because I want to, I'm kind of like disappointed in the fruit because all this time passed and they haven't regained any. Uh, of the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's uh, established establishment that he had that they were establishment but anyway I'm going to play a little bit of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad you know what I'm talking who is your people should take notice of anything about them <laughs> you don't have as much right as the white man have in America until you go and crush his authority. You can crush his authority, then you have as much right as he. <laughs> All things is due to Allah. We are in a very serious problem. And 
you are aware of. And the white man is not going to tell you <laughs> that you are in such condition <laughs> because of his wicked desire to make you suffer the consequence of his own race of people. <laughs> you are not guilty of breaking the peace and bringing about this satisfaction between the nations. You are not guilty before God of the crime of the white man. You had nothing to do with it. You did not link your people. You didn't bind them at stake. You did not deprive them of justice. It is the white man. Why don't you get out of the way and let the just God execute justice on the Everything he said is coming true. Everything. But you was not prepared, most of us, all of us, even the fruit of Islam, even the MGT, they didn't take it very seriously. I guess they, they was still in the mental mindset of the Christians that, see I never, I never was a, a Christian. My mother didn't raise me up in no church. She raised me up up until the age of seven in the nation of Islam. Then after that, the streets got to me because my mother, she went to the street. She went back to the Caucasian. But I came back. My mother never came back. She died on the fence, half Christian and half Muslim. Lukewarm. She wasn't all the way. But I came back 74 this month and I could testify that everything that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said came true. It took a, it took a while. It went past Farrakhan. It went past Malcolm, it went past, Khalid, it went past, Wallace. They didn't think, you know, he was telling the truth. But today, I bear witness that everything and every uh, preacher, preaching that he did is the truth. We're going to get on out of here, come back with some more later on.
It ain't over. But I'm asking you to pay attention. Stay on your P's and Q's. Don't get so distracted. We're going to tell you how to crush the enemy's authority. 